everybody it's dave keys and uh as an seo guy uh you, you may not be thinking in terms of what i'm thinking in terms of primarily that's market market search market share uh, market profits and so when i engage in online digital marketing i look at the entire architecture of a business the sales funnel, the sales process, and what's happening in the web experience of a customer that may be coming into your business. From that angle and that perspective, then we can choose an SEO strategy that's going to work for you most effectively. And it's not that I'm afraid to rank you know, specific terms like this one you see here. I would definitely go after this term. And what we want is to make sure that we are optimizing as effectively as possible, starting with keyword research, market research, make sure that we're getting a return on investment as quickly as possible from the appreciable investment into a search engine optimization a campaign and strategy. And strategy is multifaceted, and so it's best to develop a plan starting with the money and where the money is. Now, we look at... Um, this keyword data, we know that from around the world, there are 1,440 searches per month for this particular keyword, and then this tool gives us some other ones to look at as well. Now, if we are looking at Fremont median home price, for example. And we can grab that from Zillow or Trulia or maybe just the knowledge graph. So we've got $840,000 median home price in Fremont, California. And Northern California is a rapidly ascending market right now. Pressure on the, the locale will ensure for the foreseeable near-term future a continued rise in prices. We see a 4.8% increase uh, compared to Southern California where we have an appreciable population influx as well, but this is more, I believe, more than double what we have in um, appreciation, at least in the market area where my own home is. All right, so if we take um, this kind of price, for example, you got uh, uh, six points on a deal like this split up between the two sides and so you've got um, a, a forty-eight thousand dollar commission to split between the interested stakeholders right so twenty-four thousand for the one side you determine what you spend on marketing what brokerage fees are going to cost closing costs um, deals deal making with the seller or buyer you still come out with a very appreciable return on investment, which obviously means that selling one additional home because of online visibility means that uh, you're going to realize a very good return on your investment if you are successful in digital online marketing in a way that you are not successful right now. Now we look at organic search because there's a lot of search traffic according to Google and some of those people can be brought into the business even at a very low conversion rate. Let's look at what that means. We've got um, and we've got certain percentages depending on who you ask of people that are going to look at the first result which is almost always going to be Zillow in any major market then truly a realtor homes.com sometimes move auto maybe century 21 and then if you have somebody who is assertive in their SEO strategy you'll find local businesses on page one and generally expectations with a, a um, good return on investment is to get into position five ultimately in, and actually anywhere on page one where you find a local real estate agent like this one. The Village Real Estate Company I believe is going to prove to be local as well as if this is real estate this area vibes it might be a paper and this is local 
And so that now we're at about the top 10. Let's take a look. And we've got slow internet. So here's uh, the Village Real Estate Company. And we can start to assess, you know, if you are aware, and I don't know if anyone watching this has a free market. Um, I just picked it at random because I'm familiar with the market. I have family who lives there. So here we are with a company in San Lorenzo, not all that close to Fremont. Well, anyhow, they are benefiting from that page one visibility. Back to the page one, if you're in the top position, the estimates are that you get anywhere from 35 to 45 percent of click through in the organic results. More people click organic than anything else. Um, and let's just go with the actual search. Homes for sale. Fremont. We'll just leave it there. Fremont. Redfin's got a pretty good presence. That's a little unusual. And the usual syndicate websites, Zip Realty, Homes, Twice, Century 21, Coldwell, Coldwell, Remax, Indiana, because there's a Fremont in Indiana, East Stately, Remax, CBS Home. So there's nobody local except, I don't know if this is position 10 or not. It's close. So this means that anybody looking for a local agent in the organic search results is going to find these folks. So there's room for competition from an effective SAO program. Now let's say that, you know, that first page that you can presume on 30 to 50 or close to 50 percent of clicks on Zillow, and by the way, What's unusual in real estate is that people go to Zillow, they come back to the internet, according to the Association of Realtors, multiple times, up to 15, 20 times. They come back to the internet and they look at other websites. 25% of them, in my experience, make it down to position five, and an appreciable percentage of them cover everything on page one. They go back and look. So these people now are filtered down by intent. They intend to find a local agent and so they go back and move down till they find one. What better opportunity to encounter someone when they are in the most strong position to, to do a transaction to buy or sell a home. Usually this kind of search is buyers. So once they land on your site then you've got 25 percent of what was that 1400? if you're in position five. So you can safely say several hundred visitors per month to a website by appearing in the organic search results. If your close ratio is one or two percent, then you have an effective marketing visibility, which is excellent for you to certainly realize a return on investment through SEO efforts and online digital marketing in general. So yes, it's worth it. Um, and we'll leave off at that for right now just to kind of introduce you to my perspective on search engine optimization for real estate. This is Dave Keyes signing off.